Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going over the basics of JavaScript so that you can start learning to write full stack applications. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Node is like everywhere now. <laughs> anyway, we are on the fourth challenge, my first asynchronous IO. It's going to be it, exactly the same result as the last challenge. We're going to print the uh, number of new lines from a given file, but we're going to do so asynchronously. You see, the last time, and I'll pull up the code right here, um, we used read file sync, which is a synchronous method. And uh, synchronous means code runs at one line at a time. So this line runs first, and then this line of code runs, and then subsequently this line, and then that line in order, synchronously, so um, it, it, in the same order in time. But the problem is some actions, especially like, you know, a lot of, you know, database actions or writing to the disk or, you know, reading from a file disk. A lot of these actions take, you know, a finite amount of time. So this, you know, if it's like a really big file, this could like be a blocking uh, line of code. Um, so, you know, this is synchronous and this line is not going to run until this one finishes. So Node is like really good and really fast. And there's a lot of asynchronous programming involved with Node. So you don't have any sort of blocking lines um, such as this happening. So in the fourth challenge, that's all we're doing. We are just going to do the same thing just asynchronously. So let's go back to our terminal. I want you to go in read the hints, pause this video, and then read the hints. Whenever you finish doing so, come back, and we will write up this challenge. Okay, so we're going to write an asynchronous file system operation to read a file and print the number of new lines. So let's go ahead and let's create a new file for my first async io.js, but you can name it anything that you want. Let's go ahead and call in that file system native module require fs. Okay, perfect. And now uh, let's go ahead and we're not going to store fs like or the result of ss in a variable. Let's just call it so fs that read file. So we're not going to say sync, just read file, and that is asynchronous. And it's going to take the path of the file, which is uh, this right here. And uh, before, uh, in the last video, read file sync, it returned a, a buffer object to us, and we had to call to string on that buffer in order to use it as a string. And the, the same thing applies to read file, but we can avoid that by passing in utf eight um, as the second argument to read file. And, and that also applies right here. I could have also passed in UTF-8, and then um, this would have been unnecessary. But uh, but anyway, uh, let's just you know include it right here. And then finally, in the third argument, we're going to have a callback function. Okay, And this is what it looks like. Uh, but we're going to use ES6 in this course. So let's get rid of the function keyword. Okay, let's give it a fat arrow, a little bit of space. Okay, perfect. That is a very nice fat arrow function. Now, in Node.js, uh, callback functions, they are, um, you know, really common. Uh, we use them all over the place. And there's, you know, positives and negatives to using callbacks. But typically, in a Node callback, there are two arguments that, uh, that it takes. Uh, the error argument is always, or usually almost always, usually almost always, um, that's kind of a weird phrase in English, but it's usually uh, the first argument, the error, and then like the data that you eventually get, uh, that is the second argument. So that's going to be uh, the string, and uh, I'm already um, converting it into a string because I'm passing this value UTF-8 as the second argument. So it takes the buffer and makes it into a string. Okay, so uh, this string is available to us, but it's always a good idea to do a bit of error handling in case there's a, you know, um, an error reading from the file uh, system. So I'm just going to do a simple if statement, if error 
return console error, and I'm going to pass it in here. So console.error is just like console.log, but um, in certain consoles or, or in like Chrome developer tools, it'll be like nice and big and red. And then I'm just passing in the error object so I can see like what happened. And um, you know, normally you probably learn, you know, to go ahead and wrap your if statements in brackets, but, you know, that's totally okay. You, you don't have to uh, do that. Um, and then why are we returning like a console dot, um, you know, error or a console dot log? Well, we, we just want to execute this callback. Um, we we want to not execute, but we want to exit this callback function if there is an error and not run any code below it. Okay, so if there's an error, um, exit out with the return and then just lock out the error to the console. And then finally, uh, if there are no errors, perfect. We are going to create a variable, let's say const result, and that will be string split. We're going to split by the new line, so backslash n dot length minus one. And we are just going to log this out to the console, console.log result. Let's save that, and I'm going to learning node, verify 04, my first async IO, let's run that, and hopefully, yep, everything looks good. Okay, so uh, before we go on to the next video, okay, uh, I just want to um, go back to this concept of a callback function. Now, remember earlier I said that this is synchronous, which means that it runs one line of code uh, at a time. So this line and then that line and that next one and so on and so forth. But in asynchronous code, it doesn't work that way. You see, this function will be called whenever the buffer is ready which means that any code below it will get run first, and then when this buffer object from read file becomes available, then this function will be called. And to demonstrate that, let's put in a console.log statement right here, and it'll just say, I am at the bottom of the file. Okay, so here we have our read file asynchronous code with our callback function. It has a console.log right here on line six with the result, okay, the number of new lines. And then below it, um, at the bottom of the file, we have a console log. It just says I'm at the bottom of the file. So I save that. Let's go to our terminal. And instead of verifying, I'm just gonna use the run command. And look at that. I am at the bottom of the file, and the result of the callback, well, it's in a different order than you expect it. Well, remember, reading a file from your hard disk, that takes some amount of time. And, you know, it might be a full second, it might be 300 milliseconds. It's going to take some time, but that is blocking. Okay, if you do it synchronously, like we're doing right here, this line of code will not run until this finishes. But in the Node.js way, well, we want things to be faster. So even though this takes some time to return the buffer, well, the rest of the file, everything below that callback, it just executes right away. And whenever the buffer is ready, we get called back into that function, and then we run whatever is inside. Okay, so we're going to work a lot more with callback functions. If it's a little confusing, that's okay. Uh, the more practice and the more challenges we do, the easier this stuff gets. So let's take a break, get your favorite beverage from the kitchen, and I will see you in the next video where we will do, wait for it, what challenge is coming up next. It's the fifth challenge, filtered LS. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Boop!